Hello children, welcome to 8 chemistry online classes. Chapter 14, Chemical Effects of Electric Current. So in the last class, we discussed do liquids conduct electricity? And we discussed the heating effect of electricity and magnetic effect of electricity by uh, some activities and we uh, separated the uh, conducting liquids as poor conductors and good conductors using this effects that means uh, this using this heating effect or uh, magnetic effect of electricity and today we will discuss the important uh, effect that is the chemical effect of electric current chemical effects of electric current so first you I just uh, tell about this activity okay so here one beaker is there one beaker and we just uh, immerse two carbon rods these are two carbon rods and from where you uh, get the carbon rods this carbon ro rods uh, you will get from inside the discarded batteries or cells discarded the old uh, cells inside when you break it you will get the carbon rods but uh, don't uh, go to break anything like that okay uh, because of the safety issue don't uh, do like that so if you are getting uh, that uh, carbon rods you can uh, just uh, do it okay so this is a beaker and two carbon rods and here we connect this carbon rod with a wire and it connect with one battery okay and in the beaker just to pour water so water is a poor uh, conductor and when you add a little acid or salt or anything it will conduct more so you just pour some lemon juice or put some salt so that uh, when you stir it very well and that water conduct very well the electricity conduct electricity okay then so the our setup is ready and when the battery or the switch on through this circuit electricity start to pass okay and that time you can see some bubbles on these two uh, two carbon rods and carbon rods are called electrodes what are they called electrodes so here two electrodes are there two are carbon rods and you can see the bubbles by passing the current on this solution this is the conducting solution and here we take water so electricity passed through this water uh, water splits as oxygen gas and hydrogen gas actually what is the what is water h2o hydrogen and oxygen so in one carbon or one electrode hydrogen gas and in the other electrode that is the oxygen gas okay so that is this activity after okay we will just read this also the chemical effects of electric current the passage of an electric current through a conducting solution causes a chemical reaction so conducting solution now electricity passed through a conducting solution then only chemical reaction takes place the the solution is not conducting so electricity cannot flow through it so when you are taking a conducting solution such as uh, tap water or the water containing any salt or any acid or base it conducts electricity okay so that time a chemical reaction takes place okay so when a chemical reaction takes place it may cause the formation of bubbles of gas on the electrodes it may it may cause formation of bubbles so here we can get uh, bubbles deposits of metal on electrodes that is another case or change in color of the solution this color also change uh, it may happens when electricity passed through a conducting solution then what are electrodes so here in this activity i told you these two are electrodes and here we took carbon rods and what is the definition of electrode these are conducting materials through which current enters or leaves a substance 
so through uh, these conductors so uh, sorry these electrodes so these are actually these are conductors okay and we call it as electrodes so through these electrodes this uh, uh, current is pass inside and leave uh, outside the uh, so, uh, solution through these electrodes so that is uh, the definition of electrodes and these are conducting materials so got it so that is the chemical effect of electric current so just understand this thing electricity passed through any conducting solution uh, some chemical reaction takes place that is the chemical effect of electric current yes children so we discussed the three effects of electric current one is heating effect of electric current one is magnetic effect of electric current and finally we discussed chemical effect of electric current so these all effects we can use in our daily life like a heating effect of electricity that is iron box or the glow of bulb that is all are under the principle of heating effect of electricity and the crane or the motor uh, okay these all are working under the principle of magnetic effect of electricity and uh, today we are discussing the application of chemical effect of electricity and uh, here one process that uh, process is called electroplating electroplating okay uh, the process using which a layer of some metal is deposited or on another material by using electricity is known as electroplating uh, simply we can tell that one metal or one metal is deposited on another material using the electricity that is called electroplating and uh, just uh, i'll uh, tell about it uh, you know that a brand new bicycle has a shiny handlebar and wheel rims okay a new cycle a new cycle has uh, one that handlebar is very shiny and uh, if this uh, however if these are accidentally scratched the shiny coating comes off revealing a not so shiny surface beneath so when accidentally a scratch or anything on happened on that uh, wheel bar or that wheel rims or that handle bar you can see that that shiny coating comes off and you can see the uh, that uh, uh, not shiny metal inside or not shiny material inside so what is that actually that is that cycle bar is made up of one metal iron or something and that met that metal part is covered with another metal using this process then that process is called electroplating okay and uh, one experiment is also here uh, so for doing this experiment we need to take copper sulfate and two copper plates of same size so here these are the two copper plates and here what is it called electrodes so through the electrodes electricity uh, uh, go inside and leave through this okay through this uh, electrodes so here we are taking two copper plates and we need some copper sulfate powder also copper sulfate powder as having a blue color okay and take to 250 ml of distilled water in a clean and dry beaker so in this beaker we take 250 ml of water and for the conduction for the conduct for increasing the conductivity we just add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid okay dilute sulfuric acid into this copper sulfate solution so here water is there copper sulfate powder we put some copper sulfate powder and we pour two three drops of sulfuric dilute sulfuric acid also and we stir very well and copper sulfate dissolve in this water okay then uh, connect the copper plates to the terminals of a battery and immerse them in copper sulfate solution so these two copper plate copper uh, rods or copper plates uh, immersed in this solution and we connect uh, through the wires and uh, battery also there so it conduct electricity now what will happen next we'll see connect the circuit as shown in the figure so this is the connection here beaker is there in the beaker copper sulfate solution and we immerse two copper rods 
that are the electrodes and that electrodes are connected to wire uh, uh, connected to a battery through wire okay so when electricity is passed through this conducting solution some chemical uh, chemical uh, reaction takes place okay when current is allowed to pass through the copper sulfate solution then the solution will separate into the copper and sulfate so here blue color solution that is copper sulfate solution so when current pass through this the copper sulfate solution separate as copper and sulfur copper and sulfur the separated free copper of the solution will get deposited on the negative electrode so here two electrodes are there so we can tell that one is positive electrode and one is negative electrode so the uh, separated copper from the copper sulfate solution deposited on this uh, negative electrode if just uh, see this is the if uh, this electrode is negative the copper free copper deposited on this okay uh, that time and the same amount of copper will get dissolved in the solution from the positive electrode so this is the positive electrode and this is copper so this copper copper from this copper uh, road uh, that dissolve in this copper sulfate solution and then again go to this negative electrode okay so that time what will happen this uh, positive electrode that uh, size is reduced because from here copper is going to this solution and that copper is uh, deposited on this negative electrode got it children yes and the same amount of copper will get dissolved in the solution from the positive electrode hence we can say that copper from positive electrode got transferred to the negative electrode this kind of transfer is known as electroplating so uh, once again i'm repeating using this uh, picture here uh, here also copper sulfate solution and here two electrodes one is a copper plate and one is one key one key so this key we want to electroplate or we want to cover or we want to uh, layer one metal copper uh, copper plating okay and this uh, two things two electrodes we are connect with a battery using wire and electricity passed through this this copper sulfate this is the copper sulfate solution that is separated as copper and sulfur okay sulfate so that copper uh, deposited or copper go to this key okay uh, this key and uh, cop uh, copper from this copper road dissolved in this copper sulfate solution and again go go and uh, cover on this key and this uh, key will be plated copper plated that process is called electro plating got it children so uh, watch this video one or two times carefully then read your textbook okay okay so thank you all the best